And I'm frozen already. Tell those 13 people or no? I guess they'll just figure it out. Mm -hmm. They're going to have to because this is not working. <laughs> they can probably hear me. It worked so good today. I don't understand. I have no idea what's going on here. It won't even let me turn this on. I don't understand. It's really going to make me mad though. Yeah, I mean, this whole thing. It was crap when Justin was here. All and right. Today it works fine. I'm not sure what's going on, if it's even going to connect, because it's very slow. And I'm starting to get super mad <laughs> because it was working all day, and then all of a sudden now it doesn't want to work because it's nighttime. Go figure. Are you on live now? Yeah, it says oh. I am. Oh. I'm sorry, I don't know what's going on. All right. Am I good now? I've been hitting all sorts of buttons. It seems I'm going good. Anyways, hi, I'm Tiffany. We're going to try this again. Welcome to my quilting life. <laughs> it's nighttime, and I... Fabric scraps and reconnecting, because that's what my screen keeps saying. So, I'm just going to put Scott right here behind the camera in hopes that this stays good for a little while, and we'll chit-chat. And if it stays good, then maybe it will stay good. Okay? We'll see. <laughs> Say hi to everyone. you got 10 people on. I will in two seconds. We're going to make sure that the switch of the camera still works. Okay, good. You just stay back there. Then. I will. Join me in my quilting room. Okay, go up a little. Your head wasn't... Join me in your pajamas in the quilting room and let's be inspired. I'm hoping it's still working. It's still good? At yeah. the moment. Okay, so I had inspiration today. I was scrolling through Instagram. My internet was working quite well. Yeah, and they watched I saw your early video. a they picture of a pieced sewing machine wall hanging. And I was like, I could make that, but I don't want to have to piece all the little blocks that I saw in this thing because that requires math. And I don't do math. I hate math. It does not agree with my brain. Get it? So I decided I still had tons of scraps. All these strings are scraps. Again, the same color scraps that I used in my last scrap quilt, which is very oddly shaped, but it looks awesome. I decided I'm going to make a sewing machine. So I have this stuff right here. It's a Pellon double-sided fusible. It is Wonder Under. Wonder Under. Yes, it is. And it is paper backed fusible web number 805. And I have a ton of it because I, for a while, was doing applique and then I stopped. Um, so I still have a ton of it left. So I chopped off a nice big chunk and cut out a sewing machine. It's not very hard, guys. Like, literally, just look at the shape of your sewing machine and just cut it out. It literally is that easy. So, here is my sewing machine. Eric says, wonder <laughs> under. Sounds like underwear. <laughs> <laughs> and then I put my the fusible side of this face up. Because I'm just going to lay all my pieces directly on this thing, leaving it on my little ironing tray you can see right here, my little ironing board. Yes, we can see it. All my little scraps, we're going to do a mosaic ironing or a mosaic sewing machine right here on the ironing board. Then I made also the, the hand wheel. I also made a spool holder, which these are just little straight pieces and some curve to it with the scraps. Lot, and two little pieces so that I can make a spool of thread of, you know for my little project here. <laughs> so I seriously cut out the pieces. Those I'll add later because they're separate. I also have a bunch of little more paper left, which I think I'm going to cut in life, the letters from all this. And I'm also going to collage the Tiffany's Quilting Life onto what I'm doing. 
this will be my background, but I don't need it just yet. It is though a nice big piece. So that will be my background. Jim says it sounds awesome. And you guys can just sit here and watch me chop up little squares of fabric and mosaically just throw them around. And then I'm going to take the iron and just sit it on it, pick it up, sit it on it, pick it up, sit it on it till it's all glued onto here. Then I'll score the back, peel the paper away and glue it to my fabric. That's how I'm going to do this. I know I could probably glue this to the fabric, peel it away, but then my sewing machine would be facing the wrong direction. And I don't want that. I could put it on a scrap piece of fabric first in this direction and then piece all again, it will be the wrong direction. I want it this direction. So what I'm going to do is Kim start. It sounds pretty cool. This is going to be fun. This is going to be so fun. You say hello to everyone. We hello, everybody. Hello to Sorry everybody I didn't individual. say all your individual names today, tonight, whatever. I'm going to stick my little pieces out of the way. Yeah, we had a heck of a time starting. Yes, my start video part of this video was not the greatest. But hopefully it'll stay good for now. So I separated these into piles like I did in my previous video. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this easy on myself. I'm just going to take a bunch of these scraps. They are no more than three quarters of an inch, but no smaller than a quarter of an inch. Different though. But like I said, I didn't want to throw them away because I don't like to waste anything. And since this is just a mosaic that I'm making, I am just going to chop up a bunch of these colors like this into about square sized pieces. And I'm just going to lay a bunch out to start. And they're all going to be different sizes, but I'm going to have fun with it. And then maybe there'll be enough to make something else still. Because I am in the mood to play with fabric as well as create something that I've never so this is the something I've never done before. So I'm kind of just lining them all up like this. I do want them to be somewhat equally Hi, nice. So here's a ton. I'm going to take my little ruler here so I can have something to go against. And again, I'm just going to cut like that. So now I have a ton of these little pieces and I'm just going to slide them over. I'm going to do it again. And it's not even an inch. Some of them are an inch. Some of them are not an inch. I'm just chopping up because I'm going to be cutting them like so that they're whatever and they can be mosaically put together. So sometimes I'm cutting three quarters of an inch. Sometimes I'm not doesn't matter because everything is going to be raw edge and fun. I'm going to cut right up to this where the Hi, color Emily. is, Emily's but I'm not here. going to cut on the color. So I'm just going to cut right here and then these pieces can be put aside. And then all my little squares, I need to keep them right side up. I'm going to do it again. I'm just trying to get an equal amount of pieces so that I can build a nice mosaic type deal here. And I'm in my pajamas, so hopefully I'm literally wearing um, long johns <laughs> that are quite see-through. So it's a good thing my project tonight is just me sitting. I don't need to stand for this. Hi, Nina. Hi, Kay. Hi, Billy. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Can't Sleep a Holic Time. And I just am in a mood. I was inspired. Hi, Suzanne. And this does not require me to do anything. I took my meds. Hopefully, I'll Hi, be Bonnie. good. Again, all these little scraps are literally between a quarter inch and three quarters of an inch. They're just very small string scrappy pieces that I'm me too, chopping me too, up me too, me too, me too. <laughs> and I'm going to be making a mosaic and then I can get one more cut without getting those colors in there. I'm going to stick these aside because I could still make something else. And that's not enough squares yet. Just need to keep making lots of squares. <laughs> okay, loves the bag you made earlier. Awesome. Yeah, I had fun with that bag. Lots of fun. That one doesn't even have a tab on the end, but I'm going to use it anyway. And I still have to cut the 
orange and yellow, but I don't need to cut or orange, uh, pink and yellow. I don't need to cut as much of it because I can use the rest towards again another project. I just need it, all these cut because I'm gonna get probably more than one little quilt out of all this, and I'm just lining them mostly up equally. I should have did that before the video, <laughs> before pressing go live, but I did press it all off screen because I didn't want to take the time and show you guys how to make sure your pieces are nice and flat to make in a mosaic quilt because these were all shoved in a scrap bag. <laughs> Bonnie Baker is going to go. She'll be back in a little bit. She has to wish her granddaughter happy 21st birthday at midnight. <laughs> Ooh. Tell her I said happy birthday too. 21 that's always the that's always a good birthday for most people for me it was boring because i was pregnant <laughs> mine was boring too Doo -doo. so i'm just lining all these up and then i could start creating i don't think the creating part of my little mosaic is going to be the part that takes any time at all nita loves the bags it was wonderful it already went off into the mail to its owner, who is here in the chat, Emily. Hi, She's Mary. The proud owner of that bag as soon as she gets it in the mail. She chose her fabrics for me to have fun with. Hi, Patty. Welcome, everybody that's joining. I know I'm on late, but sometimes I come on late because I have nothing else better to do with my life besides well, hang out with you guys. Emily is glad you're Which, on. That kind of sounds bad in a good way, I guess. She's been sewing all alone the last few days because she can only sew it late. Yep. Kids, that'll do it. Hi, Heather. Heather says hi again. Thought you were done for the day. No. Oh, well. <laughs> I decided I was inspired and needed to create. So I am going to, for those that are just joining, I am making a um, collage sewing machine with all the rest of my little scraps that are between a quarter inch and three quarters of an inch because I, enjoy? I literally have lots of scraps and this requires no sewing just tons of little pieces and these guys whew, I don't need as many so I don't want to mix up as much I just want the orange and the yellow around the edge of my sewing machine so that it gives it a definition, I guess is the word for it. So that's how I'm going to use these. So I don't need as many, but I do need enough to go all the way around the edge. My little collage that I'm doing. There's a few more. And again, I'll still have enough scraps. To, says it's so cool. I'll still have enough scraps when I'm done to be able to make something else. I don't think I need more than that. Let's try to take the same amount from the pink. I really, really, really like being creative with other things than making, you know, pieced blocks. This is no piecing required, just some cutting up of the really thin scraps. I mean, like, look how small that is, guys. Like, seriously. <laughs> But I'm using it and it's not going to waste at all. So this I decided I wanted to do live stream so that you guys can get inspired to do this with the left, you know, all your little leftovers too. That is why I am showing what I'm doing so that others can make something like this with their wonderful scraps. I think that's enough pieces here. I might need a little bit more. Heather says it's completely reasonable. She just packed up her stuff for the night and got the first border on and trimmed off. One. All right, here we go. Let's chop these up. Hi, Zoa. Hello, hello. Welcome everybody to some late night fun. This should be hopefully enough to go around the edge. Stay. And one more time. Literally right. Billy needs to get busy making uh, two baby quilts. She just can't get in the mood. All right. That's enough cutting for now. I'm going to throw the rest of those out of the way in case I do need more. We're going to put these yellows up here and these pinks up here. I'm going to move those over that way. And I am going to bring this in front of me. 
again, I use Wonder Under. <laughs> I wonder, wonder, wonder what's under. <laughs> it's Wonder Under uh, Pelon 805. It's uh, paperback fusible whip. And like Eric said, it does sound like they're working. Yep. <laughs> so I cut out my Eric sewing machine just like this. I want my glue side, which is the rough side up, paper side down. And I'm just going to build onto this. So I'm literally going to just take these little squares that I have cut and hopefully this, I don't know, even know how Holy to Holy cow, you made them too super teeny. Uh, I didn't realize you were going that little with them. Hold on. I know how I'm going to rectify this problem here. Oh gosh, Eric says it sounds so kinky. I'm going to put some pins <laughs> along the edge right here to keep it held down so that my little pieces can, um... yes, I'm being creative here. My little pieces will stay on this without moving before I get to the fusing part. Now that's pretty flat right there. So Ann says 805, their favorite for the wonder. Huh? Okay. <coughs> so I'm just gonna start taking these. I'll just bring a couple up at a time. And I'm gonna go every other piece like this. And I'm just gonna make sure that I cover the paper. And it doesn't matter how I lay them, if they're crooked or straight, I'm just gonna go around the edge. Mary says her New Year's resolution was to make something every day. And uh, she says, I always fizzled out. <sighs> well, I am making something right now. And this is gonna be super adorable. And I'm just making sure I alternate with these colors at least. I don't care if they're crooked or not, as long as they're covering the edge, you know, and they are. This is just going to be the outside to give definition to the fact that it is a sewing machine. And I can adjust things and I know they'll probably move by the time I get to the iron, you know, bring the iron, but I'll be setting the iron down on top of it. So should go pretty easily. color yellow and I'm not going to iron until all the pieces are laid on here because I think that it will uh, work just fine ah, as long as my sweater don't hit it that kind of blows stay why did you choose such little teeny pieces? I didn't know you. Oh, were because go it's so a little. collage, so I'm okay. having fun with it. Okay, I see. I'm glad you are. I didn't know it was going to be so little and dinky. Yeah. You like them little squares, there, don't you? Yep. Pink. Keep sweater out of the way. I'm hoping this is enough pink and yellow to go all the way around. Jim says, I feel a sneeze, LOL. <sighs> to blow off if you sneeze on it. <laughs> yeah, that better not happen. I'll turn my head. I'm I'm seriously... I don't feel sneezy, so I should be good. <laughs> ah, yellow. Mm. Heather says she always tries to work on something every day, unless, of course, she's feeling sick. So he has some panels, but they're all uh, machine embroidery with baby information. Kim says she's something similar about 30 years ago, just squares with the fabric pieces. It was then stitched, created blocks, then sewn together. It was pretty cool looking. Hmm. Let's put that one that way. I'm going to be filling all everything in with, and I probably should start doing that. So I'm just going to start taking all these little squares and hopefully they're not too much on top of each other because I do want them to be able to glue on. I want them to at least be touching the glue in some way or another. So as long as it's covering the glue itself and the pieces are sort of overlapped, but not a lot, just enough, you know. Hi, DB. DB says hi, all. So I'm literally just going to collage these in here. And I'm leaving even the little um, pinked edges 
They're all going Bonnie to be says, in Alexis here. Alexis said thanks, everyone, for the birthday wishes. Oh, awesome. So she has a 21-year-old Alexis, and we have a 21-year-old Alexa. Yep. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, let's add some more. And I'm really not, as long as the same two colors aren't touching, I really don't care what piece ends up where. Because it's a collage. And it's supposed to be cool and different. And nobody else will have one like mine. <laughs> <laughs> Terry says, happy February, everyone. Happy February to you too, Terry. <laughs> They're literally overlapping just a little tiny bit. Add some more around the edge while I grab some more of these. This is so fun. Literally so fun. I enjoy myself when I do stuff like this. Good night, Heather. Good night. Going to bed. Thank you for joining. I know it's late for a lot of you and I'm sorry, but I literally got so excited to do this and Scott would normally be laying down to go to bed too, so. In a little bit, I will. If I'm still doing this by the time he's ready to hit the hay. Eric says, is there a fan in the room? <laughs> no, there is, but it's off at the very moment. Oops, this is two pieces right there. Let's pull one out. Oh, Mary says it's Groundhog Day tomorrow. We don't even realize that around here. No. Does that mean when we wake up, we're going to repeat the same day over again, huh? You guys remember that movie? Yeah. All right, I'll pull these away real quick because one got moved. I'm literally trying to be so, you know, what would really work is some tweezers, maybe. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't need tweezers. I can do it. I need some different colors, though. There we go. That'll do. This is going to be so cool, though. I'm being very, very careful, too. As long as everything is covering the glue. And everything gets a chance to touch the glue, I should say, too. I need to make sure of that. <laughs> Emily says it's because the whole year has been Groundhog Day for all of us. Right. Kim says, Tiffany, do you have a pair of those long tweezers? No. But I think I can do this without tweezers. And Eric I'm... says, I glued my fabric down and I'm making collage quilts. I could do the glue as I go when I get a certain amount of pieces laid out, you know? I could probably just grab the iron, but I don't want to take the chance of the iron touching the um, the paper and melting the glue side and getting it stuck on my iron like I have before. And just laying them out. I want every single piece to be able to touch that. There. Try to equal these out. I'm just like literally layering, layering these. You guys can see on the video. As long as every single piece gets a chance to touch, I'm pretty sure it should glue just fine, honestly. And if it doesn't. Billy says it's going to be so cute. Kim says, would you use them if you had them? About the long tweezers? Um, I don't do much applique, so, or, you know, this is like a rare occasion that I get so excited to do stuff like this. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I probably would. I'm not sure. I think I have a pair in the garage, honestly, next to the long arm with a, with a, um, whatchamacallit on it, uh, what is it called, with a circle thing, um, 
What are you talking about? The like a see-through circle-y thing. Um, uh, now I can't think of the word. It zooms in for you. Eyeglass. Uh, <laughs> now I can't think of it. Magnifying glass. Oh, okay. The word. See, I couldn't get it. You guys know I have issues with words sometimes. I'm gonna have to put some piece in. This piece can go that way. Yep, Eric says magnifying glass. Yeah. I'm not Billy sure. Billy says use a Teflon pressing sheet. Yeah, I'm gonna lay something over it. That's why I'm putting them all on here first. Eric says he started gluing his down because I don't have a Teflon sheet, but I do, do have. Thing um, over here. I don't have Teflon sheet, but what do I have that I can lay over this to press it? I just pick up the iron like I'm used to doing. Jim says he saves big pieces of the paper to use when piecing small areas at a time. It's going to be so cool. I'm so excited already, and I haven't even gotten that far. And don't judge, I've never done anything like this before. I have done applique and I've already made one little artsy quilt, but this I've never done. Kay asks, is the wonder under the kind that you can peel off the back? Yep. And the fabric, and then you can iron it on something? Yep. Okay. So I'm figuring all this will glue to it and then I can peel the stuff off. And if it doesn't peel off, oh well. And I just wasted all this time and it's all glued on to it. And then I'll figure it out from there. It should peel off though, hopefully. If anything, it'll rip away. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm not sure. Like I said, I could have glued first onto something, but it would have turned my machine facing the opposite way. If anything, I'm just doing this for nothing, but. Hi, Suburban. We'll see. I need some more oranges too. I'm literally just laying them on here. Suzanne says, if it doesn't come off, just put it in a frame. I agree with that. It looks good. Yeah, I actually have a frame outside that I could probably put stuff in. Kim says it looks like fall leaves. It looks like a mosaic masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start putting some, some around this edge now, too. Uh, Terry asks, what, what size are your little fabric bits there? Uh, between a quarter of an inch to three quarters of an inch. They're really tiny. Goodness, that is tiny. Yeah. Stay right there. Stay right there. He says, I have a rooster collage kit bought about three years ago. Does that mean you haven't started it yet? <laughs> I'm kind of using my long, my little bit longer fingernails to, um, oops, that's two pieces, to make Carrie sure that it's stars. touching. Some of them I just got to barely touch that to it. If this whole corner can get done, I'm afraid to stick the iron on it at this point because I don't want it to like curl and some of you guys know what I'm talking about with this stuff. If the other areas of the paper get um, heat towards them, they tend to curl up more than they already do by just pulling it off of the bolt. I may be able to use all this up, you know. 
Sorry to hear that, Zella. That's terrible. What? Well, her husband was sick for 18 years and he spent 10 years in medical care before he died at 66. Aw, that sucks. Yeah. Well, we were talking earlier about sick husbands. It's a part of a big old long conversation. Uh, I did not want to interrupt you because you never would have huh. talked. That's fine. Eric says you have chopsticks. That will work if you don't have tweezers. Um, actually, no, I no, don't. We don't have chopsticks. We have small tweezers. Uh, I'm not, I don't need to worry about it. I'll be good. I'll be good. My fingernails are doing pretty good. All on its own. Goodness, Bonnie. Bonnie's husband has 27 stents. My gosh. Dang. That's more than my dad. I thought he had a lot. He has eight stents to his heart. Good night, Mary. Mary's poop. She's going to bed. Good night. I'll be here doing this until I'm pooped. Jim says, can you use a lower setting, just not enough to hold? Uh, for the what? I'm not sure. For the iron, you mean? No, I'll just wait until all hooked on here with my fingers. I think it'll be fine. I'm not like moving around too much, you know, and I'm not breathing heavy over it either. Well, sorry to hear that, Vicky, but at least Tiff is here to keep you company. Vicky's in too much pain to sleep, she says. Oh, yeah. I know what it's like. Eric says it kind of looks like you're working on a puzzle. It does. Kind of does, yes. It does look like you're... From above it does, yes, definitely. From right, my angle, too. More yellow. More pink. I might have to cut more yellow and pink. I didn't really think that a small amount would be enough to go all the way around this. I mean, I thought it would be enough to go all the way around this. Once you get them all on there, yeah, how are you going to iron it? I will just figure it out when I get to it. I'm just going to pick up the iron and set it down. That's what I'm going to do. And again, if it doesn't stick very well, then I will figure something else out. As long as every single piece is touching is what I'm making sure that every single one of these pieces that I'm laying on here is touching the glue. That's all that I care about. I need some more of these. Okay, come on. There we go. Again, it's just a collage. There's going to be a lot of raw edge that'll poke up, and that I don't really care about because hopefully, if everything goes like I envision in my head, <laughs> then I should be able to. Um, quilt over it. Oops, I didn't have that piece there. Let's put this piece there. Suzanne says, then are you going to stitch on the top? Yeah. Yep. Evening, Tony. Tony says evening all. Evening. Actually, it's night, but same thing. Well, that's what she means. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Suzanne says, question bigger. answered. <laughs> bigger. Bigger. That one's bigger. That one bigger. That one's bigger. There we go. Start building this way. Some of these pieces are just getting so small. I'm pulling all the big ones. better be enough to fill in this whole entire thing <laughs> or I'm going to be cutting from all that. Billy asks, are you going to free motion quilt over the top of it? Uh, I have no idea because I don't know honestly how it's going to glue down. So we'll see when I get beyond this whole gluing it thing. We will see. In my head, I see one thing happening. And then in my knowledge of quilting, I see something totally else happening <laughs> seriously i've used this stuff before and i've used it two different ways so i mean i've not had an issue 
it's going to be the peeling off the back is going to be the part. Is it going to separate everything or is it going to stay together? It should stay together. If I would have been smart enough, I would have cut my machine out the opposite way, but I didn't want to waste more of this stuff by cutting out the machine again. Because all I did was look at my machine and start trimming out. Terry asks, are these the scraps from the cake plate quilt? Uh, these are the scraps, the other scraps. These are the non-curve. This is from me trimming the outside of the squares. It's the non-curved scraps. Yeah, these are the non-curved scraps. These are the straight scraps. Billy says, so you're winging it. <laughs> yep, I am winging it. <laughs> yes, she is. You know, I tend to do that quite often in here. I wing a lot of things. It's okay. It's your hobby. You do it how you want. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to make it work. I am a definite planner, and Tiff is not. Tiff is a very spontaneous, just go. <laughs> I just do. Kim says, you did a great job with the trimming. <laughs> Emily says, dude, you legit use everything. Yes, I do. I don't like to throw my fabric away. I, I don't know why. Something in my head says, don't throw it away. Because it costs way too much money, and... I am married to someone who does not like me spending more than $5 a yard. <laughs> so I definitely need to get my money's worth. <laughs> She's a woman that knows the struggle of talking her husband into buying fabric. Yeah. That's why last time we were at Walmart together and her husband told her to buy the whole bolt because we found fabric for a dollar a yard of this one bolt. She bought the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Eric says, well, well, opposites attract. <laughs> yep. I just, he likes to manage the money because if not, I'll spend it all because we are quilters and we know how much this stuff costs and we know that we'll spend it all. And I don't have an off switch when I'm at a quilt store. I kind of just get super bubbly excited and I'm like, I want to buy this, I want to buy that. And then I end up doing so and then I mapped out a credit card that we can't pay off. So yeah, I have to have a person that manages it for me. Now my clients quilts, on the other hand, those get the whatever they are willing to pay yardage. So if a client wants something fancy, then obviously they paid for the fancy fabrics. Hi, Auntie Anne. I like Eric scripts. says budget, what's that? <laughs> In my world, it's a big deal. Kim says, my husband was the same way, careful planning, etc. Me, cope with my gut, usually. Sometimes it works. All right. Look at how far this has gotten, and I have not sneezed. <laughs> Suburban says, my husband tells me to buy what I want. I'm the cheap one. I'm constantly adding totals in my head. I put things back. Yeah, I kind of do that, too. I, I think, well, if he's giving me the okay to spend, that means we really don't have it, but let's splurge just this once, and then I end up putting things hey, back. Hey, who's the one that talked you into buying all those fat quarters, which you showed them online? Yeah. 120 of them there. Yeah. So you get your moments. In real life, it's not like in I don't real let you ever daily buy spending life, I would have never bought 120 fat quarters if it wasn't better than purchasing yardage, you know? I, I definitely... I'm used to my thrift spending. I go to yard sales um, for purchases of fabric and stuff. So I definitely, definitely try to. Teresa says that's why I don't have a credit card, LOL. <laughs> Vicky says, Eric, I think I heard that in school, budget. <laughs> Billy says, my husband hasn't a clue. I have to handle all the finances. Da, 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 da. This is like credit cards either. This is like so much fun. I don't know what it is, but seeing this like this is like, woo! <laughs> this is better than what I saw on Instagram. <laughs> I still have to make the little, the hand wheel and the other stuff too. But let's get this part done first and says, make sure it works. <laughs> my husband gives me a budget. <laughs> This is going pretty darn good now. Getting around the curvy areas. 
Auntie Anne says it looks like a jigsaw puzzle. Fun. It looks like. <laughs> Eric says school, schools and budgets are two things that don't go together. <laughs> they may have buds, but not budgets. <laughs> yeah. I'm on blue. I'm on blue. Has anybody even ever done anything like this with their little scraps? Or am I just the only crazy one that's playing with this little... I mean, look at that. I don't even think that one is a quarter inch. <laughs> I think I skimmed myself on that one. I didn't line it all up totally equally either. That goes right there. I think I'm the only crazy one. Nobody's said anything. Just <laughs> <laughs> uh, mentioning the budget. Eh? Okay, I, Eric says I sneezed on mine and sent the pieces all over. I must have. I must have gone mad. <laughs> Somebody bonked me over the head earlier. <laughs> Suzanne says, "Nope, I hate to tell you, but I tossed mine into a bag to use for dog beds." Well, I have that too. Like, there's a whole thing of it, but these particular scraps. Um, I just had to <laughs> keep going with them. Kim says, I tried it on a sweatshirt one time. It looked great until it was washed. <laughs> yeah, I don't plan on washing this at all. Hi, whatsoever. Jill. Hello, everybody that's coming Kim in. says he's never tried one that small. Not that small, he says. I'm literally using such little itty bitty pieces. Suburban says a husband walked into his wife's sewing room with their bank statement and asked what all the charges were to the quilt shop. She looked at him and said, Green's fees. True story. It's <laughs> uh, funny. Green fees, yeah. Uh, I have an uncle who's a diehard drinker at a bar, and he swears that his bar tab pays their electric bill that they tell him that. And if he doesn't show up on the weekend, the bar actually calls him to if he's okay, because they know him that well. So, yes, that's where his credit card statement goes. Not that that's the same in any way. It's just a funny story. <laughs> Jill asks, what are you up to tonight? I am making a collage sewing machine. For those that are joining and wondering what I'm doing, playing with these itsy bitsy little tiny, tiny pieces. As long as I can keep this all together, all the way around. Look, I've, I've almost filled this thing in. It's going on faster than I had anticipated. I thought I was going to be here all night. Teresa says, I'm using mine in art quilts, so you're not the only nut, Tiff. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, I know. I've seen that thing. It's going to be a beauty. <laughs> I, I kind of wanted to do something like that. I thought about it, you know, like putting pieces together and actually making like a picture of something. And then I thought to myself, I can't draw. So what's the point? <laughs> <laughs> Suburban says, I think she got her nap earlier. Who, me? Yes. I actually did not nap that, today. That's why she's up. <laughs> I get hyper when I don't sleep. Uh, that's her insomnia. If she goes a night without sleeping, the next day she's like a Super, drug addict. She yeah. like bounces off the walls and I have to actually calm her down or else the day after that day she won't move. Yeah. I have issues with, when I'm super lack of sleep. <laughs> Zella says, uh, when I was younger, I worked in a fabric store part time. So I have a lot of fabric in my of what I made on the fabric. <laughs> I've heard people have worked at fabric stores and quilt shops just so they can get paid in fabric. Thank you, Jim. Jim says, don't forget the thumbs up. Yes, thanks for that reminder. Kim says, your art quilt is going to be amazing to Teresa. And Jill asks, she says, please explain. Do you have a picture underneath that? It's a sewing machine. I um, 
Because she showed it earlier I in the video. Took I took Wonder know. Under. It's double-sided fusible, so it's got a rough side and a smooth side. And I cut out the shape of a sewing machine just by looking at my sewing machine and chopped it out with um, the rotary cutter and scissors because I kind of can't do the whole thing with a rotary cutter. And then I added a little bit of curving to it so that it doesn't look too uniformly square. And yeah, now I'm just throwing all my little bits and pieces throughout it until it creates a beautiful collage. Once it's already created, it just needs to be glued down. Suburban says, I have insomnia too, but after eight years of it, I'm just always tired. I average three hours a night. Yep, that's me. And it's not a night though, it's technically three hours like a day, because sometimes I'll sleep at night, sometimes I won't sleep at night, sometimes I'll sleep during the day. I'm about four hours lately and then obviously with my infection and stuff I did sleep a lot insomnia or not so it kind of threw my body into a loop but now that the kidney infection I think is completely clear the UTI cleared up like two or three days ago now I'm just dealing with stomach cramping but uh, I'm hoping that just goes away soon that should cover those two. Oh, look at that Yay. Jill says, wow, I can't wait to see this. It sounds awesome. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a work of art. If it comes out the way my brain sees it. Jim says the same thing. Sleep for me is better in the daytime. Yeah, I... Tiff I normally know. sleeps early in the morning. Yeah, I sleep from like, I don't know, between the hours of 4 a.m. and 6 a.m. If I fall asleep between those hours, I'll sleep till, I don't know, 11 a.m. or so. I sleep from 11 to 5. Something like that. That's when I sleep. You yeah. know, I normally have time. You're only going to bed when I'm getting up. Yeah. I'm almost all the way around. <laughs> Poor Eric. Eric's telling everyone to send the snow his way. He's never seen snow. Really? In California, you never been up to like Big Bear or something, Eric? I guess not. He says I've never seen snow. Hmm. I used to go up there as a kid, but then that's because I had family there up in Blue Jay. I've never been to Big Bear, but I've seen snow because I grew up with it as a little kid. And Eric says, yep, really. That's crazy. Suburban says, I do what I can and make sure the pets are taken care of. <laughs> that's good. They're all asking and Terry says, never, Eric? And he says, never. He seriously needs to take a trip like us to go see snow. We can go up to the Wallapies, which is an hour and a half away. If we want to see snow and play in it and build snowmen and stuff. Yep, Vicky's telling Eric to look in the, the Facebook group. That yeah, in my Facebook snow. group, people, because I don't get to see snow, yeah. we got a dusting on the mountains around us, but we didn't get snow. Jim snow. says he has plenty of snow. Check out his pictures in the yeah. group. In my Facebook group, I have people posting pictures of snow so that I can enjoy the snow too. <laughs> DB says she would if she could. She says they got eight inches on Sunday. Oh my. That's a lot for one day. <laughs> okay, says, where are you, Eric? I'll send it right over. Yeah. Hi, Katrina. Katrina says, hello. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, you're not late. I am kind of almost half. I can just, some of these pieces are too small. Like, seriously. What was I thinking? Jim says she averages three or four hours and then takes a nap in the afternoon. That's kind of what you do, Tiff. Mm-hmm. Goodness gracious, Jim said her last time we got 13 inches. Holy cow. That's a lot of stuff. You should see his, I'll show you his picture in the group. The oh, bus yeah, yard too. behind his house pushed the snow up to his six foot tall fencing and it's beyond it. They they plowed the driveway or whatever behind him. And yeah, it's, they, if it melts, it's something about his garage floor, you know, his, uh, the bottom of his garage takes the chance of Well, I told you I lived in a blizzard in Pennsylvania. And yes, we had snow drifts so high you couldn't get out of your house. They were higher than the front doors. 
We had to shovel off my uncle's uh, garage roof that was caving in his garage roof. And the way we got up on his roof to shovel it off was we just climbed up the snow drift. It was all the way up to his two-story garage roof. No, Jill, the internet person did not come today. We're going to call nope. them tomorrow. No, nope. we got unlucky. That is the story of our. And then when I started my new internet, when I started my video before this one, which is deleted already because it was only. I decided to update, <laughs> right when I went on live stream. Jim says it also broke the fence. Oh man, that's really got to suck. I'd be mad and complaining, Jim. Eric wants to make a snow angel if he ever gets to experience it. No. They are fun, Eric. Yeah, okay, so snow angels are the best. Come here, Eric. We'll, we'll go up to Flagstaff where there's lots of snow. Or the Grand Canyon. I go see snow there. We, last time we went to the Grand Canyon, we got stuck in a blizzard. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Stay, stay, stay. Don't move. Talking to the fabric and hoping that it would listen like a kid. Wait, kids don't listen. Like a teenager? No, they don't listen either. How about like an adult? Ah, sorry, but adults don't listen either. Mm. My fabric is just being silly. Stay. Right? Go, go. Scoot down. Just a little bit. I think Thumper likes his new water stuff better than water. Good. Really? Yeah, he's just drinking, drinking, drinking. Oh, maybe he's just thirsty. No, he doesn't drink this much. Like, he's just sitting there. He's not even going to get food. What are you he typing to? His water. Turn. Oh, instead of talking out loud? Yeah, I don't want to interrupt you with all this stuff. Mm. That's why I like to drink. Jim says they're getting rain here and it's going to be crazy cold. Highs in the 20s and single digits. It has been raining here all day. Did you guys know that? Off and on. Not heavy rain either. It's it's twizzling, which is the cross between rain and drizzle. Jim <laughs> doesn't want his, his fence to crash into the garage. Oh, the that dang thing. Okay. Katrina asks, what are you making? I am making a collage sewing machine. And now that I'm getting like really close to the side where I put the needle, I'm wondering if I should cut a piece of, I can't because my background is black. Um, I'm pretty sure my needle just needs to be the collage. Hi, feisty lady. Feisty lady says hi. Hello. Okay, says looking good, Tiff. I'm literally, Katrina look at this, cool. this whole side is almost done. Let's see if I can't find a big enough yellow to fill that whole little area in. I don't know if I could scoot that down just ever so slightly, not down ever so slightly. There we go. Stay, stay, stay. Well, look at that. Now I just need to fill all this in. You guys hear Thumper? He is going. This CJ is messing with me. He's yelling. Plus, he wants me to feed him. It's his, it's his food time. He wants me to feed him. It's his food time. Look at that. Oh, no, no. I want a different color. Is it lost the video? No. Oh. I'll tell you. I would have told you it did. Jill says, work got in my way this morning when you were making a bag. I'll have to watch the replay. Yeah, it's a really cool bag, Jill. Yeah. Oh, Bonnie's going to post some pictures later of Lake Huron frozen. Looks like sheets of glass layered. Lake Huron? Huron. Yeah. Hmm. 
That sounds interesting. Is that one of the Great Lakes? I'm not sure. I have no idea. Katrina says Sherry has been moved to ICU. So Bye. that's a good thing that she's in there and not in um, the other unit, right? I know she was saying that earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Jim says to me, he knows, he knows you're supposed to be in bed and he's looking for you. Yes. Thumper knows when he gets fed supper and when daddy goes to bed. He lays with me when I first go to bed. And then in the morning, when I wake up, he's right there with me because he knows that's when breakfast is. Okay. I'm almost done with this bottom section. And all I have to do is fill that top section in. So I'm trying to just be ever so careful right here. Feisty lady says I'm squaring up half square triangles and four patches for a rainbow Jacob's ladder quilt. Cool. I still have not quilted my king size Jacob's ladder quilt. I really need to get on that one of these days. Oh, it is. And last but not least, let's put this one not long enough. No, let's twist that out just a little. There we go. Now is it big enough? Oh yeah. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Let's pull that out just a little right there. Bam. Whole bottom. Done. And what I'm gonna do is slide all this over here. Carefully turn this and fill in the top now. Oops. And then all I'll have to do is take the iron and lay it on top. Oops, I should add. No, nope, I don't need to. Right there. Right there. Yep. Jill says, I just finished binding my son's Jacob's ladder tonight. And Jim says, Becca posted a grunge box review. That's cool. Oh, yeah, she got her grunge box. I saw that people were posting in Becca's Babes that they got their grunge box. Katrina says, yes, she was in the CCU and her vitals are where they can take her off the machine. So yes, it's a good thing she got moved. Okay, good. I'm glad. Jill says she's gonna share it on the Facebook page before she mails it to AZ. Okay, there we go. Or Jacob Slider thing. That's good, Jill. We want to see pictures. Tiff shows me pictures of stuff too. Okay, I gotta go feed him. All right, I'm gonna take these right off now of the center. Okay, I'll be home. I know. In the world. Right there. I'm gonna fill the rest of this in. Yeah, I think I'm just going to pick the iron up and lay it on here. Pick the iron up and lay it on here. I think that's the best bet. Okay, he's fed. He should be happy now. Spurban says I got a gorgeous top that needs to be quilted, but I screwed up the seams on the back. Too many overlapping seams. Ugh. Oh, yikes. Kim says, Tiff, that looks awesome. This is going to be superb, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> In my brain, like I said, I see awesomeness, but we won't know how awesome it's going to be until I press it down. I'm sure what you guys are talking about, but Jim says, no, he needs money for other things right now. Hopefully, the, this isn't a waste of time doing this. And I wish I had one of those pressing things like was suggested, but unfortunately I don't. Katrina asks, can you use a jewelry wire for the needle? No, I'm just gonna put, um, I think pink. I think I'm gonna put pink down, just a couple pieces of pink. Actually, I'll just grab a long piece, one of these for the needle when I get to it. I don't want to touch it just yet. We'll, we'll figure it out in a second. I do need more of these, but Let's pink here. Yeah, I think I'm going to use pink. 
as my needle. That is so cool. I like it, Tiffy. So do I. You went through it a whole lot quicker than I thought you would, too. Yep. And now I'm going to... Hi, Donna. Donna says, I love it, Tiffany. Okay. Now I'm going to just chop off. And Kathleen says, if it's making you feel good, Tiff, it's never a waste of time. Hi, Kathleen. I'm just Karen guessing says, I here. love that. It's awesome. Bonnie said, yes, that was a great lake, Lake Huron. Yeah. There we go. Emily said, if you're not going to wash it, you can do a silver Sharpie or something. No, I'm just going to put the fabric as the needle. All right. Let's fill the rest of this east in. Hi, Marie. Hello, welcome. Marie says, would using parchment paper work if you don't have the sheet? I don't even think we have parchment paper. Um, I'm not sure about that. No, not but that I know of. Not that I know of either. Unless you have it somewhere. It's fine. I'm just going to put the iron down on it, but pick the iron up. Put the iron down on it, pick the iron up. It's just what I'm going to do. And I'll just be super extra, extra, super careful because all this is covered, so it should. Um, you might know who might have parchment paper. Levi might have some. Yeah, we're not going to bug him at no 10 o'clock No, we're not night. tonight. We're not, but I'm just saying. I'm not waiting till tomorrow, tomorrow to fuse it either. Okay. No, not going to wait. Just Kim says, how about freezer paper? Um, I don't even think we have freezer paper. No. Oh, not. actually, I do have freezer paper. What's that one right there? The box right there next to the paper poker holder. Oh, wax paper, yeah. Wax paper? Yes. Wax paper will work? Yes, you do. I didn't know you had that. I had it for another project that I did. So I saved it in here. I don't really want to have to, I don't know. We'll see in a minute. Katrina um, asks, how big are the blocks? These little tiny pieces are anywhere between a quarter of an inch and three quarters of an inch. They are very small, very small. Vicky says freezer paper will stick to it. Oh, I don't want freezer paper then. And so we'll wax, wax paper. paper. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna put the iron on top of it. It's no big deal. She says it'll stick to it. So I don't know if you want to try it on a different piece. No, it's no big deal. Let me just put these on here and I'm going to pick the iron up and just carefully lay it down. Well, then we won't try the wax paper. But can you do me a favor, though, with my yeah. cordless iron? Can you yeah. plug it in? Yeah. Yes, honey, 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 I'll do it. You play with your thing. I'll get everything squared away over here. What I do. I'm just going to use the cordless one with no steam. And hopefully nothing wiggles or moves. Cross your fingers, guys, that this works. It should. And if it does, then you can do what I just did. Oh, if you want to sit here and play with all the little pieces, I mean. Because it's definitely a great idea. Like I said, I didn't want to do the piecing blocks and do math and stuff. So I just figured this right here was perfect. I need an elongated one. Elongated. Don't stay still with me. Perfect. Oh, don't move. Stay right there. There we go. Kathleen says, garbage night. Can moves. <laughs> to, I don't want to hurt. I can in the garage. <laughs> Find a box, a gal. Have me when she moved last year. Long trip, no room. It fell over. It was stuck with. Flannel scratch, pre-cut hats. <laughs> All right, like two more pieces. DB says I would just try regular notebook paper. Just put the notebook paper on top of it. Uh, Katrina says you could use printer paper. Yeah, then give me some printer paper. I have plenty of that. We're going to carefully lay it on top. 
Marie says use a low setting on the iron. Hi, Shirley. Shirley says hi. See how much you guys help me. That's what I told Wish Bourbon. Try a test piece before you ruin your project. That's what I've been saying. All right. Eric it's says he uses newspaper. Laid out. When he doesn't have parchment paper, he uses newspaper. So, yeah, I'm sure all this notebook paper or uh, okay. paper here would work. All that out of the way. I don't know how much you need. I'm just going to stick a piece of paper. Marie says it's a good idea, Eric, but does the newsprint transfer? Yes, that is what I was wondering. I'm going to start with the area that does not have any pins. Does that iron have water in? Do you need me to fill it? No, just leave it. No, okay. no water. Okay. Just going to leave it know. right there. Not going to pick it up and move it just yet. Uh, Vicky says that's cool. We're going to give it a second. Leave it. Don't move it. I keep wanting to move it to like adjust it, but how about I just take a drink of water? Yes, there you go. Take a little mini break. A mini break. Oops, we have two little pieces that are, went rogue right there. Eric says not yet. So Ready? No, Cross fingers that this works. works. Kim and says we're it gonna looks do like it. pixels. We're going to do it all over again. It does. It looks pixelated. Well, if it doesn't work, then we'll have a trial and error. We'll know what not to do for your pan. Yeah. I'm still just picking it up, by the way, and setting it on top. The iron doesn't stay hot for very long, but... Yes, do you want the, an actual plug-in iron? No, I wanted this one because it's cordless. Okay. And it's lightweight. What's I was thinking of Squeak because he's lightweight. And plus your other one stays constant, right? Bonnie says it looks so awesome. Well, it looks like they've stuck. We're going to go over it a second time. Jim says, just I see Skittles. Sure. <laughs> Jim just does look like sure. Skittles, huh? Jim says, I see Skittles. Kind of. All right, second pass to make sure that it's heated and stays nicely. Do I have a light bulb flickering or something? Not that I know of, but then again, I'm looking at the cat down on the floor. I'm not looking up at the light. Here it is. It's flickering. I think it's just that light bulb set up itself. Maybe it's that lamp thing because all those bulbs are brand new. We just put them in, what, a month ago at the most? Not even? Not even a month ago. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Eric says, taste that rainbow. <laughs> These... Taste the rainbow. Look! Look! They're stuck! It worked, huh? It worked! I'm going to go right up to these pins for this section. And then I'll come back and move the pins and iron. Yes, Kathleen, that is very true. I agree with you. <laughs> DB says, woohoo. Suburban says, yay. Yeah. Kathleen says, too fun, Tip. This is so exciting. I can't wait to see if it peels off the back now. Auntie Ann says, sweet, happy dance. <laughs> happy dance. I can't wait to see if it peels properly so that I can transfer it onto my other sheet of paper or my other sheet of my other fabric. Kim <laughs> says, woohoo. Woohoo. Oh, yeah, it's sticking good. Go over it twice though, but I'm going to move the pins now for this part. Emily is amazing because the pins have to be removed. <laughs> Eric says, Well, what you know, sticky underwear works <laughs> yeah. right there. <laughs> no, that was funny. I know you're only supposed to hold it for like six seconds or something like that. I don't really remember. And I don't feel like reading the directions. Eric <laughs> says, Oi, wonder under.
Oh, this side needs a little bit more. Some of it's good. That's not. Do it right there this time. Doo -doo -doo. Let's read the directions while I wait for that iron to stay hot. <laughs> we have instructions, huh? I'm just gonna yank out a section of it. Yes, Kim, I agree with you there too. Wonder under highly versatile paperback fusible web that turns any fabric into fusible fabric. It has no grain, can be cut and applied in any direction. It is sewing machine safe, maintain soft after using 805 Wonder Under bonds to fabric of any porous surface, such as wood or cardboard. Interesting, I did not know that. Place it the rough side on the wrong side of the fabric, five to eight seconds. Okay, with a dry iron, let it cool and draw desired shape and cut it out. Okay, five to eight seconds. Jill asked what would happen if you put the iron directly on the fabric. That's what she originally was going to try. I Jill. was really just going to do that, yes. I don't think anything will happen as long as I pick it up like this and place it down. But I'm going to use the paper the rest of the way now that I've already started. Pick it up. I'm going to move this pin carefully. Just going to lay it there. Wait till the iron is nice and warm more. Suburban says I'd be concerned about getting glue on the iron. We're going to give Thumper his debut. Hello. Yes, because he really wants he's attention at the moment. With my now that he's been if fed, I throw him he on wants... the floor, if I throw him on the floor, you can play with him. He's like, I don't want to be held. Just want to get into stuff. He says, now that I've been fed, I want to get in the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because he's an ornery cat. One, he's not two, eat three, his food. Four, he just five, needs six, it in the bowl. Seven, eight. <laughs> I'm really not counting properly, but. Eric says, uh, if any part of the wonder under is showing, the glue will stick to the iron. Also, the glue can seep through the fabric sometimes. I've never had that happen with this stuff. I've been buying this stuff since I started quilting when I did my first little applique piece. Kim says hi to Thumper. Cause yes, I made my me. little sister a uh, baby quilt for her um, son, and I use this stuff to applique his name onto it. I'm going to come right up to the pins and then remove the pins. Is one Mississippi, two Mississippi. This is, this is not the fun part. The fun part will be seeing if my project is going to peel off the backside. Eric says it takes too long to type Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> it takes longer than a one Mississippi to type Mississippi, huh, Eric? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho. <laughs> There's eight seconds. <laughs> Katrina says Sherry has under the bed storage container filled with one inch blocks. You can use them, or can I use them? Yeah. You can use whatever you want. This is all about being creative and letting your art juices flow out of your brain and hands. <laughs> this is just about having fun. He's in a mood. Watch out. Watch out. He's going to end up biting my toes. Yeah, he will. <laughs> he will. He's in a mood. He does that to me, too. He slept on my bed all day. By the time I got off live stream earlier and went to lay down in my bed, guess where he was? In bed, on the pillow that lays at the end of my bed because he's not allowed to lay directly on my birthday quilt. 
He does get on it sometimes, but I don't like him laying directly on it because he has his own quilt that he can get his hair all tangled up on. Jill says, well said, I guess. <laughs> all right. Katrina asks, what else can you make with one inch blocks? Okay, so we got some pieces over here that are moving. Uh -oh. I knew if I tried to lift it, uh -oh. some would move. So let's fix that little problem right here. While you're doing that, what else can you make with one inch blocks, Rob? Uh, lots of things. Anything you want, right? Anything you want, yes. Pretty much. It's because the paper is folding right here. That's no fun. Kim says, Tiffany's tiny blocks. <laughs> yeah, you can try some of my tiny blocks. Marie says, one inch blocks make a beautiful border. Light is really Suburban says, just out. one. Thumper needs more quilts. He has plenty he lays on. Yes, he lays He's on. He's just not supposed to. He lays on a quilt on the couch that he laid on all day yesterday, literally like 20-some hours before he even moved. He has a couch on each of my wing-back chairs. Uh, a, a quilt, quilt I mean, not a couch. <laughs> yes. He has a quilt on each of the chairs. He has quilts all over this house. He has more quilts than we do. I just don't want it all over my birthday quilt because my birthday quilt's kind of big and it's really hard to wash. And I don't like breathing in cat hair when I'm trying to sleep. That is the most annoying thing. I'm wondering if you could put steam on this stuff to make sure for a fact that it's going to stay. Oh, Kim says a postage stamp quote. That would be cool. Yes, you can the do that. Can you grab that little project right there? Where? The under one that's browns and greens. Oh, this thing? Yes. You're wondering. Just know if you do something with one inch squares, this is what you will have. Okay? They finish it a half an inch. This is made with one inch squares. So if I put my finger over it, it's gone. You can't see it. Just know that it gets heavy because of all the seams. And they look like this on the back side. There are so many seams. So one inch squares, that takes a long time. A lot of patience to do stuff like this. But it is possible to do stuff like this. All right, Marie said a piano keyboarder. Yep. And Marie says, Eric hasn't seen snow. I have six feet in the front yard. I need to shift me some. And Eric says, cool. <laughs> We used to take and go get snow in the back and fill up the back of the truck with it and then come home and put it in our yard and pretend it snowed, but it melted so fast. <laughs> Jill says, will you show your birthday quote one day? I started watching you shortly after you made it. I remember you talking about it. Um, if you look in my videos that I just made stuck in bed a couple um, days ago. Yeah, you can see it on the bed. You can see it on the bed, but I'll show the whole thing. Yep, we can show it again. No problem with that. Suburban says, where's the rooster block, LOL? Yeah, my uh, daughter, I showed it to her, and I said, find the rooster, and she goes, right there. She didn't even have to look at it two seconds. She's like, I was like, how'd you do that? She goes, Mom, I'm an artist. I see things. I was like, wow, that was faster than me. It took me like, I don't know, 25 seconds to find it, and I know that it's towards the side. <laughs> Kathleen says, all the seams are a work of art to me. It looks cool. I'm just going to go over it. Bonnie posted the doesn't ice look, pictures on Facebook. It doesn't look like anything is moving, but I do want to make sure for a fact. Is this the charger over here? Why would you put it right over there? Um, oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Why do you need it? Not yet. Oh. All right, let's check one more time. Feisty Lady says, I use my smaller scraps to make pocket prayer quilts. That sounds cool. My mom gives the gives them this to our church like, for their missionary group. That's it awesome. Look like anything is falling off. But I'm going to one That's more time. That's a great idea, Feisty Lady. That is awesome. I'm rubbing my fingers on it. Katrina says, awesome. Thank you, okay, everyone. I'm new to sewing. Right there. 
and don't want to use Sherry's fabric yardage because I don't know if she has plans for it. Again, thank you all for the ideas. And I had a piece move right there, but oh well. That's what Tiff's channel is here for, is for learning and yeah. teaching. And soon um, we're going to be doing a Lone Star and a Dresden, but two different kinds of Dresden. A large Dresden, not the big huge one that I just did, but a larger style Dresden. And then with the scraps of that Dresden, I am building a smaller Dresden that will be in a picture, in a picture frame. Going over it one more time just to make sure because I am not sure if How I held it eight seconds. That you're one put it on the backing and do you're gonna be yeah. on a while. I just gotta mm -hmm. do this. I still have to make the little pieces, but we'll see in a second if this doesn't work properly on the peeling part. All right, so I should be able to hold this up now. So here's my sewing machine. That is awesome which I'm just going to, unfortunately with the ugly color of this darn thing right here, it's hard to tell that this, I'm just gonna slide this under here so that you can see. Yeah, there you go, hold on there. There you go. There's my sewing machine. <laughs> Eric says, okay, the ultimate test, turn on the fan and run <laughs> before tip kills you <laughs> nope that's good all right so now i need to figure out if the back is going to peel away so that i can stick it to my um your piece of fabric? my background fabric oh you got another needle right here i know okay. i left it so i can oh. score the back okay. of this well, i didn't want you to accidentally get stabbed all right so it needs to at least cool down <laughs> Katrina says you forgot the spool of thread on top. Yeah, I'm going to, those are going to be add-ons. I'm just going to add them separately. Jim says nice, like it. Spurpin says cool. Emily says sweet. DB says so pretty. So let's move this for a second so that you guys can see my vision here. So here's my background fabric. <laughs> Marie says, what an instigator, Eric. I had that idea in my head, but I didn't say it. And all my little spool pieces <laughs> and my side pieces. Can stay right there for a second. Let's open this up. Don't stab yourself with that daggone needle. You keep moving. I'm trying to find where the salvage was so I know which way is the straight grain. It's this way. Well, obviously, it's that way. The it's straight of what? Way. What did you say? From the bottom. I just wanted it from the bottom so here is my oh, idea and these come this way a little bit up from the bottom like that i'm going to put the little hand wheel that i need to make right there or i can just leave it without because it looks really awesome just like this I it really, does i really like it just like this honestly where's your hand wheel gonna go right here I don't even know if you're going to tell that it's a hand wheel because all it is is going to be. It's just going to be another block of yeah. scraps. I don't know if surrounded. you need it. That's up to you. You know. Hi, G Car. I don't know. Gar EQ says, I've been lurking, watching. Yeah. But I, I got don't... up to comment. I love that. I awesome. Don't like that. I think I'm just going to stick with the sewing machine. You guys can tell it's a sewing oh, machine. Her name is Angie. Okay, that's easier than a G Car. <laughs> yeah, I'm. Probably not going to remember Angie, even though I hear Becca say it all the time. Eric says it looks awesome. Mary says all very right. cool. Here's the true test. Will it score and peel? <laughs> well, let's try to peel this piece first. Want an actual yeah. knife? Nope. We're going to see if I can do this. Kathleen says make the wheel red, Tiff, and lay it there to see. Oh, it's still in to peel. Yes. Oh, yes. I'm just going to throw that on. Katrina the is curious. Uh, uh, the Ecu Quilt Fabric Cutter. She says, which one is the best to get? I have no idea because I don't own one. Okay. I cut all my fabric on my own. When I get old, maybe I will invest in one. Okay, so my nails Angie are says the kind of one. too long for this, but. 
Get me to try? No, nope, because unfortunately... Because when that happens, I don't want to get yelled at. The pieces are... I saw what happened. Yep. I saw that. There we come on. Hi, Tony. Tony says lurking too. Really nice. Well, I'm going to slowly peel this back off. In hopes that the whole thing stays together nicely. If some areas don't come off, I'm just going to leave them. You know why? Because this is a wall hanging. So to me, it's not going to matter. Suburban says those cutters work well, but waste a lot of fabric. And Emily says, fingers crossed. It'll work well. I'm just doing this very slowly. And I'm also making sure that I'm holding the pieces down as I pull. Like some areas are coming nicely and some are not. Like that little corner right there. Come on. The glue did not stay on it very well. Kathleen says then just leave it on all of it for stability, Tiff. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna carefully do this. You'll see. I will get it. Get this little corner right here. <laughs> Suburban says, hurry up, I'm holding my breath. Hi, Charlotte. Charlotte says, I missed the beginning of the live. Is there a pattern or template for the collage? Yeah, it's a sewing machine that I cut out. It's just, I just looked at my sewing machine and just kind of went from there. I, I just got creative and I just cut while I was, I didn't even draw it. I should have drew it, but I didn't. All right. Some of it's peeling really nicely and you can see some of it's staying pretty good too. So as long as I hold them as I pull, because some of the pieces are super duper glued down and some are not. Yeah, some are like really glued there. Goodness, it doesn't want to come off. It's so glued. This is what I'm gonna do. Stay, stay, turn. Charlotte says, I'm gonna try it. You are so creative. Where did I lose two pieces? I have pieces no idea. Right On this end. It has to be an edge because it's red and yellow. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, the does it help it? Yeah, I was going to say something there. Da, 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 da. What, what are, why are we flipping it over when the paper's still? Just give me a second. Okay, you do your thing. Just, I'm just curious. Let me do my thing. My thing. Katrina says spray water on the back. Maybe that'll help it peel up easier. Well, the, it's not, that's not truly the exact problem. The problem is... It's still not all stuck down. It's still not all stuck down. That's the problem. It's peeling just fine in some areas. Like this whole thing peeled, but I don't want to glue it down just yet until it's, um, you know, whatever. So I'm going to try to just peel these areas off first and then fold it over and peel the other area. Where did my little pin go to score? I had no clue where you put it. Your needle? Yeah. I'm probably going to end up with a needle on the floor. I... It's okay. I know. That's what I was telling you. You keep losing that thing. Is it underneath the machine? They're going up. I'm lost too. Uh, I'm being super careful, guys. Suzanne says it's on your dark fabric. Is it? I don't know. I'm looking now. So I'm putting my hand over it. I'd rather get stabbed than have you. Does it have a yellow head? Yes, it has a yellow head. I don't see it on the floor, so. I don't feel it. Like I said, and if this doesn't peel properly, this is a wall hanging. So. Could be under the ironing mat. Yeah, could be. it's under the ironing mat. Check there. It could be. It's not on this end. Underneath this fabric. 
See, like I said, some of it's peeling really nicely. I don't see it on the floor here either. Just be careful and don't stab yourself. Mm -hmm. Look at that. See, some of it's peeling and I don't even have to hold it, you know. Okay, it's Kathleen really says you set the needle to your right behind the stitch box. Sewing machine. Yeah, man. Oh well, that's okay. I'll find it later. I just want to get this stuff off. Well, I was looking for you, so you didn't have to. Just take your time. Don't rush. Well, I'm rushing, but if you're going to do this, don't rush. I'm only rushing because I'm on a live stream and I don't want to keep you guys all night long before I get my project sort of at least attached. All right. So I'm going to start by centering this. I'm going to peel this side just a little bit more. Uh oh, lost another red mm. right here. All right, let's get that stuck down first. So adjust it nice and straight, and then I'll peel back. Center, center, center. It's up enough because I'm going to put Tiffany's quilting life up there. Oh, that'll be awesome. So that it can hang behind me. Jim says you need to swap out. Uh -huh. All right, so I'll come back and <laughs> Katrina fold says slumber that party. Back. All right, looks equal on both sides. It looks level, but I can straighten everything out. Ready? Aim. Fire. And then I'll fold the opposite way and peel that side off. Slumber party. <laughs> And if anything, I also have um, glue, so I can glue. We have basting spray. Is and that, I have basting spray. Wouldn't that work too? Mm -hmm. All right, so one side is down. So now, if I go this way, I can start peeling more back. Stuff is not behaving. I see this. Not right there, at least. Stay nice. I want it to stay nice. Right there. There we go. There we go. It's not cooperating with you. Not right this very second. Mad at you. Yes, man. Yes, it is. Like I said, if I don't get it all off, then I still am going to be stitching everything, so it should be good. I'm just going to score right here now and try to peel away. Maybe it'll stay nicely coming from the opposite end. See? Leona sometimes going says, the opposite way. Leona says try ironing on the back of the paper, then you can remove it easier. Yeah, I've already. Um, Hi, Leona. Sometimes it's if you keep ironing over the same area, it will actually ruin it. So the the glue. So that is why I. Kathleen says, do like Darlene and Mod Podge or Mod glue. Podge. Is that what that Mod Podge? Yeah. Whatever. Or glue over it all. Your way was working pretty good there for a minute. 
going backwards. Yeah. It's just that one spot. Yeah, it was over ironed. It's being picky. Mm -hmm. See, like I said, some areas are peeling really nicely, as you can tell, and some are not. <laughs> Jim says Darlene's awesome. I'm going to leave that for a second because I really wanted to get this little piece of paper right here. Literally, and I will fix the spot that needs to be fixed before I iron it. Just stay down. <laughs> Mary says it's like peeling a sunburn. <sighs> okay, so let's fill that back. Make sure it's good. Make sure it's good. There we go. I'm going to iron over that now. Another piece that fell out from somewhere. It's fine. It's not anywhere that I can... Oh, I can see now. Right there. Yeah. Tiny little piece. Goes right here. Like that. They're all asking who Darlene is. Suzanne says, I love Darlene. She's so fun to watch. Do we watch Darlene? Uh, Darlene Machad is who you're talking yes. about, right? Yes. It's Mrs. Darlene she, Machad. She doesn't have comments on any of her videos, so you can't comment. But she is always making some crazy cool stuff, being creative. All right, let's Teresa see. Teresa says, Darlene is funny. Yes, she is. She and definitely so has a sense of humor. There is also cussing. So if you guys are, anybody is offended in any way by the F-U-C-K word, she does say it. She uses foul language here and there. But she definitely makes some really cool stuff. Jill says, right, I watch her. Yeah. Kathleen says, I watched Darlene, LOL. She sure has fun. Her TikToks are funny, too. So I Yeah, I haven't. TikTok. I, I have not gotten myself stuck in that whole TikTok world yet. Uh, I, I watch some TikTok videos because my daughter has a TikTok, but um, I try to limit my TikTok usage. Suburban says <laughs> she's hilarious. Because I'm like, I'm not. <laughs> Suzanne says, yeah, she does drop the F-bomb once in a while. Yes. Bonnie's going to go find her. Be right back. Oh, yeah. It's... Emily says she turned off comments a few years ago because people were mean. She did a video yeah. about it a long time ago. I've been yeah. watching her for years. Yep, same here. <laughs> Jim says, yeah, she can be abrasive, but very creative. Yes, she is very creative. Oh, there's your needle. Ha! It was underneath it the whole time. I saw it right as you put your hand on it. All right, now flip this right there. Stay, stay. If anything needs to be glued, I will glue it with just glue. That's freaking amazing. All right. And the last section just needs to be peeled. Should come off. <laughs> Feisty nicely. lady says there's nothing wrong with the cursey words once in a while. No. Okay, says so she's very interesting. She only eats meat. She's on the Atkins diet still, huh? <laughs> Kathleen says, Tiff, you can watch Darlene's TikTok without the app. Maybe others too, but I'm not sure. All right, here we go. Here we go. It's all off. All the paper is off. Yep, Katrina, you were right. It was under the sewing machine. I lost a piece. Let's figure out where it goes. Oh, oh. Right there. Like, where's Waldo up in here? Where'd that little sucker run off to? Right there, right there, right there. That's uh, still cool. All right, it's all nice and flat. Let's make sure that guy's under. There we go. And hmm, I did it. 
I did it and I'm not going to add the other pieces. I think this looks perfectly fine. I am, however, going to do the Tiffany's Quilting Life part. So, yeah, you're going to stick the pieces on and make it? How's that going to be? Oh, I'm just going to cut out letters and glue them on. Yeah, but you're going to, with the same little fabric pieces, yeah. put on the paper? That'll yeah. be cool. But I'm going to glue them on first and then cut them out. Okay. Hey, Leona. Leona says I'm way done on my nickel quilt. That way 5,000 squares shape. done and 5,000 to go. Once again, she says thanks a lot, Tiff. I want the letters to have a shape, so I'll glue the letters on here, spelling my name. Did you hear and me? And then the cut them out. Yeah. About thanking me. Yes. All right. I don't need that needle before it gets on the floor and pokes. Hold on. Give me a few seconds. Not the whole thing is not finished yet. At least this part. Obviously, there'll be a part two to this video of me creating this really cool wall hanging. Right now, it's just the sewing machine part, and I have now pretty much... Oh, you're going to stop for now? Yeah. Oh, okay. That way I don't keep everybody too late. I've probably already been on an hour. If you look at the screen, you see? It's 11.30, because I was going to bed. I was going to go to bed. But if you're going to get off... Yeah, you've been on almost two hours. Yeah, so in two you hours... You had an hour and 42 minutes, and plus we had, like, two fake starts. Because yeah. our internet is still horrid. I'm not sure if I can hold this up just yet, but we're going to see. I'm going to test it on me. If it falls, it falls on me. Bam! Oh, look at that. Okay. Let me give it one more good pressing. And then I'm Leona hold says it that you, you inspired guys. her. This is going to be very weird to quilt, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to free motion over it. Just That's... squiggly wiggly. That way it kind of grabs every single piece, you That's know? Awesome. When or maybe do, load it on the long arm. People. Maybe I'll load it on the long arm and just like go like this all the way around. Because it'll still look really cool. And on the long arm, it'll be easier because I can literally do that without having an issue. Teresa's heading to bed too. She says it looks cool, Tiffany. <laughs> Jill says, no slumber party. <sighs> then they're asking, what is a nickel quilt? A nickel quilt is like one inch pieces, so you can call that a dime quilt. That's what you inspired. I'm Leona just giving it some do. steam to be okay, 100% says I like the sure. background fabric. I that's why I chose it. It has all these colors in it, so I knew it would perfectly blend in. So let's do this. Honey, you can stay up and keep going if you want, just because no. I'm going to bed. And here we have it. There is my that is awesome. collage sewing machine first. So I, I'm pretty sure when I finish the Tiffany's Quilting Life part that I'm going to put on it that I will. Um, that is awesome. It's going to be collage too. And then I'll load it on the long arm and quilt it. That way I can like make it puffy or something, you know, because I can use the really thick batting. So there that is. And then the top, I'll do my Tiffany's Quilting Life so that it can maybe replace that or some somewhere in here. <laughs> Eric says next time, make it a featherweight. <laughs> yeah. Right now, it's my... Yeah, awesome. It's my Juki, sort of. Sort of. Kind of. All I know is it's fun. It's fun. Definitely fun. So there'll be a part two for me to add more to this before it gets quilted. And... I'm pretty sure all this should stay now. It seems to be staying. And I'll <laughs> add more later. Jim says it looks better upside down. <laughs> upside down? Aww. <laughs> That's so cute. I, I love it. I think it's like adorable. This is like the coolest thing ever. I could just spell Tiffany like with all these and just like T I says, F. <laughs> you could. I could just with the straight little pieces. But then they will look, I don't know, look weird. I'll just do it with the little square pieces because it's so collage like. Well, they are looking at it upside down yeah. in the camera view. Yes. Yeah. But I can hold it like this, too. My little collage. Jill asks, are you going to collage the words? Yes. I'm thinking about it, yes. That's the only other way I can think of doing it. 
but I might do it in just these. I don't know. I might just keep these all straight and just, I could just like randomly you? scratch put Tiffany's Quilting Life and split these in half. Jim actually, says it, it looks better letters. upside up. I'm sorry. I read it wrong. Right side up. Yes. I read it wrong. All right. So there's that. I think Hi, that's Kitty. what I'll do. Actually. Kitty says it's so pretty. That's what I do. I can split these all in half and scratch my, make it look like scratch. You know, okay. thin pieces, because they only need one stitch down the center of them to hold them on, on the long arm, instead of using all the rest of those little pieces. I like it. I love it. I want to create more of it. <laughs> Isn't that so awesome? Okay, so I hope this inspired you guys to create a collage quilt with little pieces. Um, I think next time I will put my sewing machine with this onto the fabric first like with a background first and then I would stitch around it with a whatchamacallit stitch to stitch it on so I would like glue this part on to the wrong or right side of a fabric you know and then peel it away and then the, there'll still be a glue side where I can just build all the pieces on it you know um, Katrina says, I would really have to pay attention to the backwards and forwards uh, I don't know when I'll get to it. Probably tomorrow sometime. But for now, I will just leave it like this. Colleen says it looks, it's a jukey spaceship. It looks so awesome. I love it. I can't wait to like finish it and quilt it and hang it up on the wall. You can finish it now. I'm want. not finishing it now. Um, I need to lay down. I'm and... going to bed. Don't mean you have to. I need to fart and I don't... <laughs> okay then. My belly is not happy. <laughs> a little TMI there, my love. Okay. Well, you're making it sound like I should just sit in here. That's up to you, is Whew. what I'm saying. I said it out loud. I don't want everybody to think just because I'm going to bed that you have My to. belly medicine. It's this big of my belly. Roman. I told him I go to bed at 11 and you go to bed anyway, at like 3 so in the Anyway, so I should be back. Some Maybe I'll do some more tomorrow night on it because <laughs> I have other things to do tomorrow. My... Emily is laughing. <laughs> Susanna's laughing. Eric says, well, let her rip. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very ladylike. <laughs> oh, uh, thank you guys Chill for hanging Ralph out. Scott. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are gonna make me cry laughing. <laughs> well, it's good to see you laugh. I love your smile. Yeah, but it also doesn't help my belly. <laughs> oh, that's well. I love your smile. Anyway, I told you that from the first day I met you. So I may have done this ass backwards. You know, I could have done it a different way, but in reality, it's. Still came out awesome. The paper still Eric says light a match. <laughs> Suburban says happy farting. Stop. <laughs> See, I, I should have kept my mouth shut. <laughs> I'm clenching here. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Stop crying and laughing. I hate cry laughing because then I'm like crying for no reason. <laughs> it's funny. <sighs> so there's plenty of ways that this could be done, but collage quilting, guys, do not throw your little scraps away. If you're if you're ready to try this, the paper still peels off. If you have, say, you just want to do regular little squares and line and butt up each an individual square instead of like I did with the overlapping, and you want to try to line them up, um, I'm pretty sure the paper will peel off even better that way. But since I did overlap a lot of area, it didn't peel perfectly but you guys saw it peeled away so and i was very careful with it now i just need to add the rest of what i want to add on here and then i can hang you know get it on the long arm and just scribble on it to hold all those pieces down since they are raw edge and that's it and put my name and stuff on it obviously other than that that's all i got for tonight we will make this part one part two will be putting my name and whatever else i figure to do in here and that's it. So Colleen says earthquake. Eric <laughs> says clench tighter. Suburban <laughs> says, don't take a bite out of your chair. <laughs> Jill says these hey, comments are killing me, me. Don't make me cry no more. Okay, here we have a real question. Does your fusible have fabric in it? Asked Jim. No, it's just glue. Okay. This this is just wonder is just glue. Let's see what else, because I didn't read it the rest of the way through besides the thing. Trace shape onto paper, cut size, press down onto fabric. Note, to avoid backward 
letters and numbers, draw them in reverse on the paper backing. So you have to draw it in reverse on the paper side. Uh, Hi, Diane. Gently peel off paper backing, position fusible down on the project, repeat, repeat lifting and overlapping iron until it's fused. Suzanne asked, did you put the fusing on uh, the pieces? Tips. Yeah. No, it's, it's, yeah, I just laid the pieces onto the glue side. So if this is my wonder under, this is the glue side, like, you hear that rough? And then if I turn it over, it's smooth. Yes. Okay, rough side, I just put all the pieces directly on it. And you'll know this stuff, because it's been on the bolt, is going to fold. So you're going to have to find a way to hold it down. But I just put all the pieces on here and then did the blue thing, like you guys saw in the video. And then, you know, peeled it off. So... Let's see what these little tips say real quick. Use a damp, damp press cloth as a temperature timing aid after 10 to 15 seconds. Press cloth should be almost dry. So you can use like a damp cloth when you're on top, you know, damp it and then press for 10 to 15 seconds. Uh, if not, raise temperature a few seconds longer with fat, thin or heavy light fabric combinations fuse from thinner or light side when fusing to cardboard or wood use dry press cloth to eliminate steam and then it says fiber 100 acid free polyester care instructions you just machine wash regular um, on delicate cycle low or dry clean so you can wash it anyway and yeah so it's just a polyester glue is all it is so it's not woven or anything so that's what it is. And I use it for applique most of the time, raw edge applique, I mean, so this is it. I'll hold it up one more time right here. That is awesome. Obviously this will have my name up here in this top section, but for now, but we'll do it. Well, you just cut out anyway. Yep. Internet is dying as we're stopping. <laughs> Circling. A long time of circling here. Is it not connected enough to tell you that you're 